Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to the vlogs. I just got home. It's about noon. 12:30, and um, about one day a month I meet with a few local friends who are artists here and we get coffee and we end up talking for like two or three hours and I love these get-togethers because they're so honest and we're really trying to like give each other feedback and help each other think through things and different projects and it's just so interesting how I do think we are hard on ourselves but it's also so interesting how much we are like constantly trying to adapt and you know reevaluate what we're doing and what we're striving towards and like how our businesses are going but also how our art practices are going so it's just a really cool time for us all to help each other out so that's what i got home from and i really enjoy the mondays that we do it because i've told you guys many times i do enjoy on mondays to take it like a touch easier and not like feel like i have to jump into my work week because i start to get burnt out and on mondays i sometimes do try to ease into the week and kind of like prepare for the week ahead um i could do that on sunday and you guys could do that on sunday too of course but you know I'm, i was just like relaxing my butt off this weekend and it felt good because i had worked so hard last week so Anyway, all of that to say that yes, on Mondays, I usually have like a formal sit down talking video, but I just don't have an idea today of what to do. And with the new camera, I've enjoyed vlogging so much just because I'm able to bring it around with me so easily. And so today I think it's just gonna be a vlog of like Monday things of what's going on. So my plan for today is to kind of like refresh my life and some of my business stuff and i'll talk about what i'm gonna do today so jake and i have been realizing just in the last couple of weeks it hasn't been like too ongoing luckily but we've just been eating poorly like we've just been having like frozen pizza and like going out for pizza and having a lot of like carbs and cheese and personally i love eating vegetables but i just don't make the effort to cook them as much so um i think i should harness that because a lot of people don't even like eating vegetables so we are really gonna make an effort to cook at home a lot this week. I'm gonna try out some new crock pot meals and I'm really gonna try to incorporate a ton of vegetables into what we're eating. So we're basically gonna try and do some paleo, but we're not gonna be super strict with it. I am really a believer that if you're too strict, you kind of like go binge in other directions. So like if I cut cheese out, I end up like binging on cheese. So we'll probably still incorporate like some goat cheese, but just like make a lot more healthful decisions so i stopped at home now so i can kind of like look at the fridge and make a list of what i'm gonna get for us and i think for lunch i'm gonna make some like roasted zucchini with goat cheese it sounds so good right now uh, and then while i'm out i'm going to pick up a few storage containers at lowe's because this is like a very like self-evaluating <laughs> clip but um, and I pick up some storage containers at Lowe's because because I did a local market on Saturday and my stuff is just like everywhere like I think I have like eight different containers of stuff and I really could be consolidating that into like three or four containers and in two weeks I have Phoenix Flea and then after that it's just going to be crazy holiday market time and I would love for everything to be organized and I really need to sit down and assess like what I have of inventory, what I need to buy, and then just have an ongoing inventory list of what I have so I know like what's sold and what I need to buy more of as the markets continue. So I'm also gonna take some time to get some bins and then sort through everything today, clean out my car with all the inventory and get it all organized so it's ready to go and I can easily ship orders for the holiday season and then also bring it all around locally. And then, other than that, I think I'll just clean up the house a bit, make sure I answer the emails I do. I'm writing some thank you notes. It's kind of just a lot of like housekeeping stuff today and I say that like housekeeping of my house, of course, but like my business too, just kind of like, getting refreshed. I think there's a chance this could be kind of silly to do today because I'm leaving for LA on Friday. I'm taking a short little weekend trip with my friends. So I'll miss a day of work, but I honestly feel like this is so needed today. And then it'll give me the freedom to really focus on my projects Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. So this is a little look into how my brain works. I'm just gonna kind of take a little tally of everything if that makes sense and just kind of prepare i think i'm actually gonna quickly pull up a video by marissa lace where she made like a crock pot tortilla soup recipe that sounds really good for dinner tonight so that's the plan i hope you guys will enjoy following along with the vlog today rather than like a formal video of these monday things
I'm back. I thought we could do a little grocery haul because why not? I'm not turning into like a food channel or anything, but uh, I remember when I made my ice latte video, you guys were like, more food videos. So it's not something I plan to do. I'm not very like passionate about cooking, but I thought I would share since I did make pretty good choices for us for the week. Okay, first up, just a dozen grade A eggs. I eat so many eggs. And then I got so much produce. I got some beautiful broccoli, my favorite vegetable. These carrots were the most beautiful big carrots I've ever seen. Like they're so thick. No better word to describe them. Uh, I got some bell peppers. And so quite a few things I got are for the crock pot chicken tortilla soup I'm going to make. And I'm using a recipe called skinny taco soup. I'll link it down below, but it was the one that I watched in Marissa Lace's video. So also for that, I have chicken broth. And then I got this Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. And a lot of the canned stuff was on sale. So this looked good. It was part of the recipe. I got two of those. I got a packet of low sodium taco seasoning. I did get one can of refried beans, which is in the recipe. Not really paleo, but um, apparently it makes the soup really creamy. So I thought that was worth it. Um, I got three of these little tomato sauces just because they were on sale and I figured it'd be good to have them on hand. And then I got a whole sack of potatoes and I've been making a lot of potatoes lately. I just crave them. Like, yeah, they are a starch. I don't, mm, I don't know if they're paleo, but I wanted to make like a chicken garlic parmesan crock pot meal. And then I got one yellow squash. Then I got a few green Granny Smith apples. I love these. And just a red onion for the soup. And then I only meant to buy two of these, but I accidentally bought three. But we tried these the other day. They're the California protein blends. And there's a little bit of greens in there, but not too much. And this was really delicious to eat with like chicken teriyaki. And then I've never tried this one, but it's the same protein blend and it's a Hawaiian style one. So I thought that looked good. And then I got this small roasted corn to put into the soup. I don't know what we'll eat with this, but I just got some beef stew meat. And <laughs> this is kind of funny because Jake doesn't usually let me get this. He usually makes me get like the nicer steak, but I always want it. So I got it since he wasn't at the grocery store. <laughs> And then I got a container of goat cheese because it's my favorite thing on earth. I never knew this. It makes a lot of sense, but goat cheese is not dairy because it doesn't come from a cow, duh. Like if you're lactose intolerant, it doesn't have very much lactose in it. And then I got one of the pre-cooked roast chickens to put in this chicken tortilla soup. And then the last two things are just this container of cut up pineapple. Jake and I have been getting this really often. And I would cut my own, but the pineapples have been so small lately that I don't think they would even yield like this much pineapple. So this is a better deal. And it was on sale today for like $3.99. And then lastly, I just got one of these baby spring mixes also on sale today. It was just a great day to grocery shop. And I love these. Sometimes I'll just get spinach, but I like the mixture. And all of this was $60, $63. So I thought that was pretty good and it's all very fresh. Okay, I am almost done with adding all the ingredients to the crock pot. And now I'm just going to add the chicken broth and I did low sodium, so I hope it still tastes good, but I've been having too much sodium lately. So I'm gonna add two and a half cups of that. And then the last thing will be to top it off with the taco seasoning. All right, that's done. The kind of weird thing is the recipe isn't a crock pot recipe, but the YouTuber I watched, Marissa, did it as a crock pot recipe. And my chicken was already cooked, but hers was like frozen chicken. So I'm gonna put it on low and hope that it doesn't get too cooked. Fingers crossed, so domestic. I ended up leaving the house a few hours ago. My mom spontaneously asked me if I wanted to go to Nordstrom with her just to like look around. Um, and she's going to a wedding. So we shopped, it was really fun. I got a cute new sweater. And if you're curious, the soup was a success, but I'm actually cooking it a little bit more now because the onions weren't cooked all the way through. So I'm just giving it some high heat, but it was super delicious and Jake liked it too, which is good. 
Also, some really large shadow box frames I ordered for a client for three watercolors just came in. Unfortunately, this one was broken. Here all the glass. I actually saw in the reviews online that people said the frames arrived broken. So I was hoping since I ordered three that like at least a couple of them would work. So that was good. Two out of three are okay. And then I will just return that other one. And now I'm working on my inventory stitch. Jake's doing his laundry. So I'm going to do this. So these are the bins I bought at Lowe's. And I chose them just because the lid isn't separate. So I don't have to like worry about the lid like falling off and then they kind of interlock like oh my gosh I don't know if I can do it with one hand like so so I'm gonna unload everything that's so like disarrayed into these bins and take inventory as I go I just ordered a bra in the mail and it came in this really nice like zip bag so it's now holding my pins in my bucket here <laughs> okay so far i have two boxes almost completely packed this one still has some room these are so good they hold everything and i have packed everything that is something i need to like know how many i have of like notebooks mouse pads pins but the prints, since I make them myself, I can like control the inventories. I'm not gonna pack those because I don't want them to get bent. And then I have reading cards too that I'm gonna keep separate because I don't want these to get bent either. Um, but everything fits in those two boxes of like phone cases, like all that. So that's awesome. And then I took a tally of everything here in my notebook so i know if i need to reorder some things before phoenix flea in like less than two weeks but everything that's left is like originals and like framed prints so i'm feeling good and i think i'm going to end the vlog here and on wednesday i will have a new painting video up and i'm really excited about that one it's uh the wood piece that you guys saw me painting but you'll get to see the finished piece and like the whole process and then i'll talk a little bit more about what it's for too and it's still kind of a secret but i can kind of talk about it so we'll talk about it <laughs> so that's it i'm gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and until my next one sending all of my positive and creative vibes your way bye